Hello, and welcome to another edition of Day Drinking with Kevin. In today's episode, we're going to go on the road to three well-known retailers, Target, Costco, and Trader Joe's, so I can give you some ideas of what you should and shouldn't buy if you're looking for economical wines. The interesting thing about Target is that a lot of their wines isn't actually that cheap. The bulk of what I see on the shelves, especially leaving aside the gallon jugs and boxes, is in the 12 to 15 range. So if you're looking for really inexpensive wine, you're better off at Trader Joe's or Costco. Every once in a while, you do find a special wine. For example, this Ada Z Pinot Noir was the wine that I sent my Uncle John and his new wife Millie when they got engaged. Your best bet Target is big, well-known French brands. The idea that French wine is expensive persists, and that's silly. France is still one of the world's biggest producers of wine, and a lot of what is made there is everyday stuff. The red, white, and rosés are all quite good, but the red is usually the best of the three. Another good brand in this category is Louis Jadot. For a light, easy-drinking red Beaujolais Village will certainly not change your life, but you could do a lot worse. At Costco, beware of name brands. Some of the best values at Costco are famous brands like Vu Clicquot. Stores like Costco have huge buying power so they can get good pricing on big name brands by buying a ton more than any smaller shop could do. The caveat here is that the discount on these big brands isn't uniformly amazing. Sometimes the price I see at Costco is pretty close to the traditional retail, and sometimes it's way under. So before you buy something just because it's a good name, check the average price on a site like Wine Searcher to see if the average retail price is around the country. This is not to say you should only buy wine on deep discount, but sometimes the thrill of bargain hunting can cause us to buy more wine than we really need. The other place where Costco shines is its Kirkland brand private label wines. If you see Kirkland brand on a bottle of wine, it's likely to be from a famous region, like Europe or Napa. Again, this is where Costco's buying power really comes into play. They're able to make deals with these producers and put their own label on them for less, so then you would find them in equivalent wine elsewhere. Trader Joe's does have some labels I've seen on the shelves for years, but just like with the rest of their products, not every wine will be there forever. If you see something you're interested in trying or know what you like, then it's time to buy, because it might not be there the next time you go. I've tried a lot of really good wines from Trader Joe's, and the parts of the world where you can get the cheapest and still something palatable are from Spain and southern France, as well as Sicily. This Nero de Avo is one of my favorites. It is so food-friendly and goes with a lot of different things. And if you're looking for something a little bolder, this Montepulciano di Abruzzo goes excellent with steaks and things on the grill. This is one of my favorites. I think Trader Joe's has an excellent Italian section. Just like Costco, Trader Joe's has its own branded wines as well. These offer an excellent value from around the world. Here, the Chardonnay from Sonoma is really, really good. And if you're looking for something really unique, try this Vino Verde from Portugal. It's got a little bit of spritz to it, goes excellently with spicy foods. This is definitely one of my favorites. Well, I hope you enjoyed Assam's Guide to Economical Wines. If you did, put some comments down below and consider subscribing to Day Drinking with Kevin. And if you have ideas for future episodes, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Until next time, this is Kevin McGuire saying, Salute.